Today, I thought I would show you my thought process from beginning to end when I'm designing a planner or pretty much anything. But today we're gonna design a daily planner. So something like this, I'll show you some of my inspiration here. So I, if I get an idea of a product that I do wanna design, I hop on over to Pinterest. That's, I don't even know what Google is anymore, honestly. I just use Pinterest for everything. <laughs> So I'll hop over to Pinterest, create maybe like a secret board, um, just because I like my Pinterest to look pretty and when I'm kind of just conceptualizing something for myself, I don't necessarily need it to be live for other people. And then what I will do next is sometimes I will sketch it out over on paper just to get a real feel for when the product is finished, what it will look like. So for those of you who don't know, I use Affinity Designer instead of Illustrator or any of the Adobe products. The only Adobe product that I do use is Rush to edit my videos on here. Um, I'm in no way a video editing expert, um, which is why I don't use Premiere, but Rush I like so far and it's much more affordable than any of the other Adobe products that I've been seeing. So I've been using Affinity Designer for, I think, got like the, this last year. Um, it's very similar. It's just a one-time fee. There's no like subscription, which I really like. There's a few things missing from it that I think Illustrator kind of outweighs it in some ways. But for, as far as I'm concerned, the kind of work I do, everything that I, really need um, is on Affinity Designer. So I just wanted to preface with that because I'm gonna be sharing my screen with you soon to show you the design and you might be wondering what it is. We're designing this product for Etsy and my hopes is, is I'm just gonna get a few more kind of better products on up on Etsy and then eventually I'm going to reapply for a creative market because at the time I originally applied for a creative market seller account, my Etsy was kind of like blah. I actually don't even think I had an Etsy so I didn't really have anything to like show them like product wise that I had been selling. So I'm trying to upgrade my Etsy because that's kind of the most affordable thing at the moment to host any like digital products that I'm selling. And so I'm gonna show you that whole process. I'll show you start to finish like my design and then also how I designed the actual product photos that go in to the Etsy shop and or creative market, wherever like online seller platform you're using. So without further ado, let's jump into designing. All right, so what I'll do first basically is I'll just go on Pinterest and kind of type in what I'm looking for and although this is a gold tracker I really like the look of this. I really oh I like that. That is cute. I'm looking for some fonts. I think this is cute. It's always finding fonts that takes me the longest. I'm so incredibly picky. So I think we have a few fonts to choose from now. And so I'm gonna dive into, back into Affinity Designer. My camera died, so I might do something else for a few minutes and then come back to you guys once that's charged.
It's cute. I like it. Um, it's still like that simple style that I like, but it's just um, a little bit more fun and colorful. So I kind of talked about in the time lapse, but you can see I changed the stroke. So that way it just adds a little something to it. And my thought when I was designing this section, like the to do's and action steps was to color code the actual to do and then the steps you need to take it because like me for example i tend to write a lot of to-do lists on paper i'm not really i like to print these out or like just write it on notebook paper but um like sometimes i have a lot of ideas that i just like to write down to always go to later um but when I'm trying to figure out my to-do list for the day, I kind of need to be a little bit better about like, okay, action steps. So for example, today I'm designing this for Etsy. Then I also wrote myself a note, like make sure, you know, you record, then edit. So that way there's kind of like actionable steps. So that was my thought there. So now we're gonna hop over onto this page. And I'm making like a matching weekly planner to go with it. So I just made one with the Monday so that way they're all lined up in the same kind of corner area. This is kind of like floating in the middle. So that way they're at least all starting at the same place, like on the left. So I'm gonna align everything to the left here. And a little done section. Okay. So once you get the first design, it's much easier because now, right, I can just, I should've made an artboard in the other page, but I didn't, I'm like a rookie, that's okay. So again, this is a four, but right, we want it to all kind of look the same. So I'm gonna add this cute little guy. Oh, that kind of matched up perfectly. Now this one, I have a little bit more space, so I might actually smooth this down. But I'm gonna do a different font for the top. So let's see what we have here. Now, I now. see one thing that I don't like, unless there's something I don't know about Affinity Designer though, is that on Illustrator, like you can go through and select like the typeface, the kind of typeface that you're looking for, which you can't do here. So I need to really get better about favorite, like doing the favorite love button thing. So that way I don't have to keep doing this every single time. Cute, okay. All right, so now on to making the actual Etsy templates. I normally save my Etsy like product design. Or I'll just use like the previous one and then I'll just update it. I didn't modify you, but okay. All right. 
So here is the one that I used before. And so I'm just going to kind of go with this, but just delete the old pictures. Let's find a different stock photo for the background. So like white space desk. So what I like to do, and see this is cute. Let's see, um, I'm on R41. You open this up, all right. Let's delete that old one and move this down. Perfect. All right. So I just like to add this because I think it just puts it into perspective what it will look like. So basically, I'm just going to do a little time lapse now of me working on the Etsy photos. Um, and you can just see what I'm doing. I'm really just taking the previous templates that I have designed here and just making them with the new photos. So you'll see I'm just basically going to import and change all the type and everything.
that took much longer than I would have originally wanted. <laughs> but I'm pretty happy with the way that they turned out. I didn't have much in me today to create more of like a bigger bundle like I did last week when I made like the whole monthly calendar. Um, even though these are only two sheets, the process still took like a couple of hours because then you also have to like create the marketing material for it. So I'm happy that that's done because I don't think I listed one on Sunday, unfortunately, but better late than ever. So they're live up on the uh, up on Etsy and I list them for three dollars since there's just two of them and they're reusable and so if you guys are interested you can go check it out here. If you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe to follow me on Instagram too. I hope you enjoyed this little studio vlog slash tutorial and see you guys next time.